This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. This is an intro. Who needs an intro? I don't need an intro. This is just a vape show. It's just a vape show. Vape show. Vape show. YouTube, what is up? I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh, back at you with a vlog for Halloween. Rocking the Segeli 100 watt plus with the Aeronaut. Vaping on some Muffin Man, the last of the Muffin Man, which is kind of scary in itself because this shit is pretty righteous, I gotta tell you. And getting that low with the Muffin Man, that's pretty scary, let me tell you. It's pretty scary. I got a reef coil in here. Stove top, and it's pretty banging. You know what else is banging? 1999 subscribers. No, I'm just kidding. 2K, 2K plus. That's where we are right now. 2,000 subscribers, and I can't thank you guys enough for hitting that subscribe button, that like button, for sharing these videos. You guys are fucking awesome. Let me tell you. I mean, I hit that while I was at Disney World. How cool is that shit? That's freaking awesome, man. I hit 2K subscribers while I was at Disney World. I mean, when someone asks me, hey, old boy Josh, what are you going to do now? You hit 2,000 subscribers. I can't say I'm going to Disney World. i already been there. In Disney World, let me tell you, Disney World was awesome, man. We had a great time. We went with two of our close friends, and we just partied the whole time. It was great. We had great food. We had to ride a bunch of coasters. Fast Pass? Fast Pass is the shit, man. They didn't have that last time I went. That stuff is cool. I mean, we the longest we ever stayed in a line was maybe half an hour. That was awesome. I got to see Space Mountain with the lights on. That never happens. That is so cool. And let me tell you, it's scary in the dark. I mean, you don't know where you're going or what's around the corner or what's gonna happen next. But when the lights come on, it's just track, metal track, like a metal abyss of track. And it is freaky. It is really freaky. Because when I ride a coaster, I like to, you know, stick my hands up and scream. And, you know, I love riding roller coasters. But I get freaked out. <laughs> I get freaked out by track over my head. Because I always think that, you know, I know that they that I'm a tiny guy. I know I'm a tiny guy. Okay? I'm only 5'7". But... It freaks me out that I, I, I feel like something is going to clip my hand off or something. So, if you ask me, it's scarier with the lights on. It's a little scarier. It's a little scarier. Yeah. And you know what else is scary? You know what else is scary? This real world shit going on right now. It's real world shit. This uh, HR 2058. This is this is our opportunity, our opportunity to you know, fight back against those forces that are trying to take this away and take this away and this away and everything we love about vaping. This is our opportunity. Okay. So I hope that everyone's taking the time to send out those emails. I hope everyone's taking the time to, you know, phone the White House. I know I did. I also want to thank Felix LeBron. Felix, you're awesome, man. He sent me a link on Facebook to sign this petition that's going around. Yeah. Check out my Facebook page, okay? Recent posts on Facebook is on that petition, okay? I just did that today. Thanks again, Felix. And... You know, this is your opportunity to tell 
the White House to tell those in power how much vaping has changed your life, how important it is to you that you're able to continue to vape as opposed to, you know, sucking down these cigarettes that are killing us slowly, okay? This is a life-saving alternative, okay? I can't tell you, I can't tell you what this has done for me in my life, okay? So, and, and you know, you know, okay? Because you're watching this video. You know, like me, how important it is that, you know, we're, we're, we're able to do this in another two years, okay? All right? I don't have to spell it out for you. Go join CASA if you haven't already. When they send out emails, a call to action, follow it, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about it, just do it, okay? Takes five minutes, not even. Because a world where we can't vape the way we want to, it's a scary place. It's a scary place. You know, it's not a scary place. Fucking Disney World, man. Fucking Disney World was awesome. <laughs> Disney World was badass. We had the best fucking time. It was amazing. We ate good food and we rode fun coasters. and It was awesome. Disney World has always, you know, been kind of a special place for me and the Waffles is actually where we got engaged. Yeah. Um, I guess I can tell you the story. Why not? So, this is, this is going on eight years ago. Memorial Day weekend. 2000... 2008. Memorial Day weekend, 2008. Waffles birthday falls around Memorial Day. Uh, 29th. So, I take off from work that day, and I, uh, I pack all of our bags. I pack all her bags, too, which is super scary. Super scary. Not for me, mind you. For her. <laughs> Waffles traveling without knowing where she's going without knowing what's packed for her is freaky, okay? And I knew that going into this. So when I was packing her bags, I took pictures of every single thing that I packed for her. Everything, everything. And this is like in the, you know, flip bone days, more or less, you know, um, maybe we read blackberries at the time. So I'm taking pictures of everything with this fucking blackberry and you know, when she comes, you know, she always calls her mom on the way home. Southern women, you know, they got to stay in touch with mom. Well, her mom was in on it, right? Her mom gets off the phone with her when she's maybe five, ten minutes from the house. I load everything into the back of, back of my car and all the bags. And I drive around the block and I wait till she's in the house and I pull up behind her and... She opens the door and she's like, <gasps> what are you doing home? And I said, well, get ready, we're leaving. That was it. She's freaking out, freaking out. Doesn't know what's going on. I'm showing her the pictures, everything's packed. She's like, I just have to run in and grab a few more things. So she does. And then so we're driving, we're driving, we're driving. We're maybe 10, 15 minutes from the house. And she's like, where are we going? Where are we going? Waffles and me, we can't keep su surprises from each other. It's just not the way we operate. You know, when we buy each other a gift, we've already given it to each other before it's even arrived. Guess what I got you, honey? <laughs> that kind of thing. So we're driving along, we're driving along. Stupid fucking song comes on the radio. Oh, Mickey, it's so fine, it's so fine, blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. Yeah. So, at that point, you know, it's a pretty good moment. So, I had this, uh, it's a big Pandora lover. You know, the fucking beads and shit. She loves that shit. 
So I got her a Pandora bead for uh, with Mickey Mouse on it. And I give her that then. And that's how she finds out she's going to Disney World. But she thinks she's just going for her birthday. About a month before this, I took a trip to New York, told her I was just going to see, you know, friends, family, whatever, visit. Truth was that uh, I had a hookup in Diamond District, so I had this ring custom made for her. Okay. So, when we get to Florida, ring's waiting for us at my, uh, my grandmother's house, my abuela, I'm a half El Salvadorian, so she's abuela. Okay, so it's waiting there. We spend the night there. In the morning, I get the ring. Drive off to Disney World. Ten minutes later, we're inside. I get down on one knee in front of the castle, and the skies open up. <laughs> it just rains and rains and rains, and she's crying, and the rain is coming down, and she, yeah. It was a big old mess, but it's a wonderful memory. And uh, she, you know, we had a few moments there. She's calling all her friends. She's calling her mom. And, you know, that's where we got engaged. Disney World. And then we did all three parks in one day. Because back then that was all I could really afford. You know, one night in Disney World with the dining plan. And, you know, all that. So, that's how we got engaged. In front of the castle, down on one knee. And then, another thing that, you know, holds a lot of sway for us is Halloween. Because um, we didn't get married on Halloween. We got married on November 1st. So the day after Halloween. Reason being, her, her dad's birthday is Halloween. So, you know, we didn't want to have to split the day with him. We didn't want to have to, have to split the day with us, really. <laughs> but, you know, our rehearsal dinner was Halloween. Our wedding was very Halloween-themed. We didn't dress in costume or anything, but it was a fall-themed wedding, you know. So, Halloween, Disney World, you know, fall time. It, it holds kind of a special place in our hearts over here at the uh, Own Boy Josh household. So, with that in mind, I hope everyone has, you know, an awesome Halloween. I hope all your pumpkins are carved and your costumes are picked out and you've got your routes planned for your trick-or-treating. Because it's a great freaking holiday, man. It's a great freaking holiday. Yeah. And we love it because there's Halloween and then it's our anniversary. We're not doing anything crazy this year for our anniversary. Um, you know, that was, that was you know, uh, Disney World. And we can't blew our load with that. But uh, we're still going to have a good time. Uh, we'll probably go out to dinner or something. Keep it low key. So yeah, I mean that's going to be Sunday for us. That's our anniversary. Tomorrow's Halloween. We're going to keep it low key. Probably watch some scary movies, hang out, do whatever. Um, but Monday, Monday I'm gonna be back. You can expect some videos from me on Monday. I'm gonna be filming videos on Monday and hopefully uploading at least a video or two on Monday. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Because I mean, shit. I've got 2,000 subscribers now, right? i got to keep this going. I don't have any big plans for a 2,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm sorry to disappoint you. You know, I, I don't have a ton of money to go out and buy, you know, stuffs that I can just give away, I'm afraid. I don't. And I'm not at that point yet where a bunch of companies are sending me stuffs, okay? I don't really ask for anything. 
Um, if companies send me stuff that's cool, but I don't ask. It's just not my thing. Anyway, so I don't have any big subscriber, 2,000 subscriber giveaway planned. I'm incredibly grateful to you guys, though. You guys are amazing, and I can't thank you enough for hitting that subscribe button, hitting that like button, sharing these videos. But what I am going to do, this guy, Relic Vapor. Relic Vapor is like an idea man, apparently. He contacted me on Facebook and had the suggestion for throwing in just some random giveaways, just here and there, sprinkling them through these videos, and you won't quite know when they're coming. You'll just kind of see a little disclaimer that pops up across the screen in my, you know, I like my captions. You'll see a little caption popping up on the screen saying there's a giveaway. And to enter this giveaway, you've got to email me. And that's how you gain entry to the giveaway. Okay, so you gotta watch. You gotta watch for it. And be living in suspense, waiting for it. And it might not come. You never know. It might not, it might be there, it might not be there, who knows? And it might be something like a mod, or it might be something like an RDA, or it might be juice, or it might be a build. It might be some wire that I've made for you guys, who knows? That's what I've been getting a lot of requests for lately. I've been getting lots of requests for build videos. So I think that we're going to do some more of those real soon. I think we're going to start with this reef coil because I love making them. I love making them so much. So I think that's what we're going to do next, a reef coil build. Reef coils are awesome. Take my word for it. I'll show you soon. And, you know, I mean... Some people don't like making this shit, so maybe you'll maybe you can have an opportunity to win it, I guess. But I love making this shit. I, lo I can't wait to show you guys how to make more of this shit because it's fun. Let me tell you, I've been building you know crazier builds now for about two, three months, something like that, and um, yeah, it's just it's a lot of fun. So I think I'm gonna be doing a lot more build videos soon. So yeah, you can expect the uh, the Aeronaut to be featured in quite a few of these, the Twisted Messes RDA to be featured in quite a few of these videos. Because um, those are probably the my, my favorite RDAs to build on right now. There are some other really good ones too, but those two are probably my favorites to build on. Okay, For builders, I can't recommend them more highly. The Twisted Messes RDA and the Aeronaut RDA. They're perfect. Perfect. That's really scary. I don't want to get more right now because I'm lazy. Boop. So I hope everyone has a happy Halloween. Uh, for me and Waffles, you know, we wish you guys the best. So yeah, guys, this is a really fun vlog. I got to tell you guys about my trip to Disney World. Got to tell you about how Waffles and I got engaged. Got to talk a little advocacy. Got to uh, tell you about what's up and coming on the channel here. And, uh, yeah. Till next time, I'm your homeboy, homeboy Josh. Vape on, vapors. <laughs>